What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. We are finally getting started here with our College Football 25 Dynasty Series with the Texas State Bobcats. And starting out in, I believe, the Sun Belt Conference, if I remember correctly. I said, been a little bit under the weather here recently, so I'm just trying to get, get stuff moving here. We are, in fact, in the Sun Belt. Just getting a quick one in today. I say that way I can get something going. We have been under the weather here a little bit here recently. So hopefully that can reside so I can get a little more content moving. Uh, take a quick look at recruiting. Not a lot of good players since we are a one-and-a-half-star school. We do have a four-star, Sean Ellington. We are currently in the lead for him. We got Monty Johns here. We are barely in the lead for him, honestly, and he might recruit soon or recruit, commit soon. Titus Middlebrooks, we are... Not doing the greatest for him. Recruiting is very hard this year, I've noticed. I say I've got an Illinois dynasty, and it is very hard to get recruits. Which, I mean, that's not just some, you know, overly big school. But I'm losing, like, small schools on some recruits. Got Aifa Patuata. I might not recruit you just because of your last name. Got Taekwon Woodside. I say we got two two-star quarterbacks there. Vernon Miner. A gym three star, trying to get in the race for him. Prince Abdismad, Abdismad, I don't know how to say it. Gabe Carrera, Jamal Tagger, gym three star. Hopefully we can get in on him. Only having 400 hours is super difficult. We're going to have to really pick and choose. We've got Corbin Thompson, good size tight end, one star gym. I say we're going to have to really just try one and two star gyms, trying to find as many as we can. We got Jay Jarwin. Roberto Rosa, Cole Tolson, three-star gym, who we're probably going to lose to. I honestly, I'm probably just going to have to take this one off. I say, I've been going through people that are pretty high up. And, yeah, I mean, it's Oklahoma State, Texas, TCU, Texas A&M, Oklahoma, LSU, Alabama, Texas Tech, and even SMU is number nine. We're going to go ahead and pull him off. That does open up 25 hours for me. Do I put it in the receiver, or do I try? Mm. Honestly, Titus Middlebrooks, I really want Titus Middlebrooks. I'm going to put it on him and see if I can't, or do I spread it out? No, I'm going to put 25 on him, try and get him moving. If not, I'm going to pull it off and hopefully get some of these other guys moving towards our school. Uh, where are we at? We got Tyrell Shockley. Hopefully, we can get him moving. Because, I mean, even if we can get two stars, it's better than several of the players on the roster already. Eric Payton looks like he's going to Rice. Kevin Gee. Spencer Tuska. Like, I mean, we're really just trying to find guys that we're high up on. Oh, man, we dropped down a couple spots for him. Matt Hope looks like a power rusher, so he's a. D lineman of some sort or an outside linebacker. Devin McGinnis. Alfonso Fox. He's a bust. But a three star bust is still not horrible. Rico DeVito. Oh man, we dropped down for him. I want to say we were like number four or five for him starting out. And he looks solid. I say, where does it out of hours? It's hard to scout with no hours. Got Elias Crook. Re Did I already see Rico Gee, or is there two Gees? Oh, there's Kevin Gee from Duncanville, Texas. And Rico Gee from Limpasas, Texas. Ben Jose. If we can get a four-star, that would be massive. He's a power rusher, too. Marco Briscoe. We're also going to have to look at a lot of Juco guys. And hopefully we can get some transfer portal guys in the offseason. I said, I just went through my first season with Illinois, and the transfer portal is crazy. Nick Iverson, Juco, out of Katy, Texas, looking like he's not coming to us. Got Tony Washington, and then Hakeem Chukwuma. A lot of Katy, Texas guys. But yeah, hopefully we can get moving on a lot of these guys, and hopefully secure some decent players. I'm going to try and get the gym guys and obviously the uh, 
you know, three and four star guys, but we're going to probably have to live on the one and two stars. Uh, take a quick look at the roster here. Like I said, this episode is not going to be very long. It's really just introducing the team, looking at the board. We have a senior quarterback in Jordan McLeod, which does suck. Deal breakers playing time due to your senior. PJ Hatter, hopefully can be something for us going for he does have 92 throw power with 84 speed honestly that's not horrible i'm saying we do have another freshman here in brad jack oh he's 511 dude you are short not a lot of good quarterbacks we got ismail amadi i'm pretty sure i've seen him in the transfer portal so that's not good Deion hankins he's a senior hopefully we can get some guys drafted and that'll be Really good for us going forward, actually. We got... Man, we don't have a lot of youth on offense, it looks like. Do we have a fullback? Oh, my God, we do have a fullback. Roosevelt Barnett from Hawaii. Nice. I was honestly surprised we have a fullback. Uh, wide receiver. We got senior, junior, junior, senior, sophomore. Sophomore with 95 speed. Oh, and he's a route runner. Dude, route runners are the way to go so far on here. If you can find a route runner with good speed, filthy. Ooh, we got, ah, oh, he's a senior though. Dang it. There is a good chance, one, two, three, four, five, six. I might richer all four of these guys, actually. Just to, five, seven, a buck, sixty. He's got 93 speed, though. Just so I can have, ooh, shifty and recoup. All right. I did not expect a 58 to have physical badges but man the more talent we can get going forward the better and senior junior junior oh we do have freshmen okay so we have one guy going forward left tackle we got a senior oh we got three freshmen you're gonna get registered dude I hate to tell you uh so this is going to be a very hard rebuild. And we're going to play on All-American seven-minute quarters. Hopefully. I did see Texas State go like 11-2, and two, which I don't know how accurate that is. Maybe it's just because the conference is really, really bad. But if we can get a little bit of that look, that would be really nice. And honestly, if it looks like the – the season is at a loss. I might look like Joe Lazan Landry here. Might end up playing over Stephen Parker and Jaden Stevens later in the year. If it comes down to it. Like if we're, <clears throat> excuse me, if we're like four and six, four and seven, or three and five, six or seven, I'll probably look to get him some time so he can get some good development. Actually, what is your development? Ooh, impact. You might actually... Oh, he needs a three-star. You might get on the field sooner than later, actually. And then we got Darius Carmen, Bryce Bass. Oh, he's a senior, and he's a 57. Not particularly good. Ooh, Ben Bell, all right. We just got two really good defensive ends. Three solid ones. I really want to get you on the field, but it might be really hard. You're going to redshirt. You're a junior. Oh, we got a really old interior part of the line. Hmm. That is not what I was hoping to see. My linebacker is, and he's a senior. I was like, oh, wow, an 82 senior. Senior, junior, senior. Great, 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 great. Love that. Uh, we got a, oh, oh. A 47. Why do we have a pipeline in Montana? I'm not even going to. We have a pipeline in Montana, but not in Texas. Or at least the different parts of Texas. That's insane. I don't even know what else to say besides insane. So, 
So between our three linebacker spots, we're going to return three guys, one starter, and then he'll get time in nickel packages, maybe, hopefully. We got a corner with 95 speed. I'll, be, I'll take that. Playing time. Again, you're graduating. So we'll have one corner return next year. We're going to graduate to... Nice, you're from St. Louis. So, oh man, we don't have... We have two corners with good speed. I'm not even going to bother Richard, and you probably won't Richard you either. Man, this is... Okay. You're probably going to start, actually. You might be a sub-linebacker. Because, yeah, 78 speed is supposed to... Oh, excuse me. It's supposed to 87 speed. Yeah, you're going to start up top. You're going to be in the box. And we have one in Florida. I don't understand. Tyus Williams. Ooh, you got good speed. You're going to get red-shirted. Hopefully you can progress well. Please tell me you're like an impact. Ah, normal. Are you an impact? Also normal. You hate to see it. Oh, and we just have straight up juniors, or junior seniors at strong safety. We have a 5'10 buck 95 strong safety and a 6'4 205. Okay. So we have coverage and a linebacker. And no depth behind them. So we're going to have to also recruit a kicker, it looks like. Because if we have 94 kick accuracy. Okay. It's actually very solid. But not expecting our kicker to be that good. And then we're also going to have to recruit a punter because they both suck, actually. This team is going to need so much work. I say, what? Coach contracts. Yeah, they, why does it keep saying we finished last year at four and eight when we finished at eight and five? They had, uh, what is it, TJ Finley, the LSU transfer? I don't know where he ended up going, though. But yeah, that, they had him for one year. And then, yeah, I just randomized the alma mater and it landed on Tulsa. So, yeah, hopefully we can... Our goal is to win four games. Hopefully we can do that. And, you know, not get fired first year. But we'll look at... <clears throat> excuse me, we'll look at the team schedule real quick. We got FCS Midwest, UTSA, which is Texas San Antonio, and the I-35 Showdown. Oh, so that's a rivalry game. Decent. And then we have Arizona State at home. I think I meant to make that at Arizona State, but too late now. We got Sam Houston State. That is another rivalry game. I don't know if Sam Houston is in Houston, but we're playing in Houston. Okay, so that's got to be a neutral site because it says versus playing at Troy. Playing at home against Arkansas State. On the road against Old Dominion. At home against Louisiana Lafayette. On the road against Louisiana Monroe. Weird that we're playing the Louisiana teams back to back. At home against Southern Mississippi. At home against Georgia State. And finish on the road at South Alabama. Hopefully. Can we see? Oh, nope. Don't force a win. I'm going to say we should win one. They are usually pretty solid. I'm gonna say we'll go into the bye week two and one. I don't. We're either gonna we're gonna lose to one of these two. Same Houston. I think we should be three and one, four and one. I'll say four and two. Five and two, five and three, six and three, seven and three. We're either gonna finish nine and three or eight and four. At least we should. I think that we can honestly beat most of these teams. I think our biggest 
games are going to be Georgia State, Louisiana Lafayette, probably one either Old Dominion or Arkansas State, and then either UTSA or Arizona State. I'm going to say that, and we're going to get rocked by FCS Midwest or something. Yeah, 79 overall is actually a pretty high rating. But I like their jerseys. I always used to like rebuilding Texas State, which I want to say they came into FBS. Oh, never mind. They've been in FBS longer than I thought. I thought they came into FBS right around right here because they usually didn't have too much, you know, history. Oh, wow. Their first year, 2005, they were 11-3. and three. Nice. But hopefully we can make a bowl game for one and hopefully we can make some noise in the Sun Belt. I'll probably look to there we go try to find conference standings if we can win the conference if we win it like dominant I'll move us I'd say like I guess the Pac-12 but that's only I mean that we would play Oregon State and Washington State but then we would have a fairly open schedule so that would be kind of cool and then probably go to the Big 12 after, you know, that, a year of that. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, and then we would fit in a little bit better. Because I assume a couple of these schools would probably go to, like, the SEC. And if I had to pick one, it would probably be, like, hmm, Colorado. Which, they don't have the coaches in this game, so, I mean, maybe not. Uh, probably like a Houston or Oklahoma State, maybe Utah, or an A. That'd be an ACC move, actually. But yeah, so we our goal is to get to the Big Twelve, and then of course the main end goal is to get to the SEC, where everybody else is. And I think I'd have to kick a team out. Obviously, it'd probably be Vandy, which I don't know. I saw Vandy do pretty good in. My Illinois dynasty. Uh, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ranked teams in the top 25. That is crazy. I mean, shoot, they got half of the top 10. But I would, man, Alabama, I think, went like seven and five, if not worse. Georgia lost three or four games. I beat, I beat Texas 52 to three in the national championship game, which is, very unrealistic for Illinois. I just I kept forcing picks. Quinn Ewers apparently can't hold up to pressure. Uh, Missouri I think finished back into the top twenty-five. Oklahoma finished actually right around fourteen I think, and I want to say Ole Miss finished unranked. They would like pop back in and out of the like the twenties. I want to say LSU finished about nineteen or twenty. Tennessee finished, I think, right around where they are. And Texas A&M lost a lot of games. And I don't think any of the... Uh, Vandy, I think, popped in for a little bit. And maybe Kentucky or Auburn. And Kentucky had a five-star corner ended up in the transfer portal. And we were number one until week four. He went to Penn State. I was hurt. All the guys we were going after that we didn't get went in to other Big Ten schools. I was very hurt. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and move us into the next week. Hopefully y'all enjoy the series. If you want to see me do somebody else, you know, I'd definitely be into that. And, oh, we don't have any coach stuff. There we go. We have this. My recruiting update. Oh, oh that's a three-star bust, though. He locked us out, and then Rico DeVito locked us out. Man. But we're still in the five for Ben Jose. Uh... We got AP. We're just going to call him AP. We are now number one on his board. Uh, Monty Johns. We are still number one on his. So, we, yeah, we need to move forward with him. I said Antonio Washington. We're number five. Oh, if we want him, we got to move because he's in his top five. We are number five. Same with Marco Briscoe. And we are number four on Roberto Rosas. Yeah, hopefully you all enjoy it. I'll probably do most of recruiting off screen and I'll give updates before every game. And then most episodes will be game. I might do like a stream series as well. Probably not Texas State. I'll probably do 
I'll probably do if I can. There we go. I'll probably do somewhere in possibly the CUSA. It would probably be no. Everyone does Kennesaw State. I really did want to do them because they got really cool jerseys. Maybe like a Mid Tennessee State, New Mexico State. You, I don't like UTEP. Uh, the Mac could do Akron. Everybody does Akron. Maybe a Ball State. Buffalo. Just so I could do that. Uh, but mm, I also need to look. I like running spread. Ooh, Akron running the spread. Could do Central Michigan. Who maybe a Kent State. I also want to go to somebody that has a lot of cool jerseys. Could do Northern Illinois. We could do Ohio. I could do Ohio and then move into the Big Ten. I could do a, like a back a Mac school and yeah, move towards the Big Ten. Hmm. The possibilities are endless. But I also really want to do Hawaii. Because Hawaii would always be my go to for older games. And they have phenomenal uniforms. There's a good chance I do Hawaii. I might do Hawaii and rebuild the Pac-12. I think that might have to be the move. Because you got to love you some Rainbow Warriors. I think that, yep, that's going to be the move. So stream series, look for it, going to be Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. As for video series, it will be the Texas State Bobcats. I don't know who's going to be easier to recruit. Hopefully we can build a pipeline in Texas, not Montana. Hawaii, I can get all the Hawaii guys, probably some California cats, and, you know, the straight West Coast, Oregon, Washington, stuff like that. Uh, and I'll try and move forward with the Road to Glory. I think I'm quarterback on Kennesaw State, two-star. That sounds right. Hopefully that'll get progressing pretty quickly. But I'm having a blast playing this game so far. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, Going to try and mix in some show videos here and there. Probably not as consistent just because of how fun this game is. But they will get mixed in here and there. You know, if there's other stuff you want to see... Let me know. I'll try and pop it on here. And, you know, leave a like on the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't already. Help the channel grow. Hopefully with this new game coming out, you know, with the 11 years of wait, that can help the channel grow a little bit. I hope you all have a blessed day. And I'm going to catch you all later. I'm up out of here. Peace.